Yes, YouTube. London definitely made sure I did not miss the Vitality Big Half. Lots of advertisement around. Couldn't miss it. I made sure I was off from that day. Headed down to the start line. Uh, windy, windy, windy morning. Got to see the big guy. Behind the scenes is important. It's a good learning curve. Try and find out how the elite athletes warm up before the race starts. What's their rituals? What do they do? How long do they warm up for? Are they drinking? Are they eating? How nervous are they? So yeah, I was spying on the guys. See, Mo Farah likes to head straight off to the front, and this is round about the halfway point. Uh, Keep saying got dropped. Mo Farah has gone through his little stomach bug problem, and um, what I liked about this race is that Mo Farah and Abdi Bashir are from the same Mudain running team, and they just work in one zero. One year, if I was him, I would have sat, sat, insisted on sitting at the back of uh, Bashir and Farah. But he stuck himself out in the wind all the way and uh, Farah and Bashir just swapped over. Great tactics, can't blame them, they're from the same team, well done. I like Abdi Bashir, new runner to me, he's got a personal best from the Great North run of 60-42. Runs with his head slightly tilted back. Wanjiru's got that Stokata run. Stokata chopping stride uh, out of the three. For me, the best runner, looking runner there is Mo Farah. I like his forward lean. I like his long stride. Anybody want to see Mo Farah do the next Nike breaking two? I think he'd be the man. To chop off some seconds off of Kipchoge's time, seen as Bikili is out of action. Um, yeah, so I'll be bringing you some updates on uh, Saeed out there in Ethiopia at the moment, who actually just met up with Bikili's brother Tariku. Is it Tariku? Yeah, who's got an injury. Um, so I'll bring you an update on this. Just looking at these guys, keeping up with them. Is, is is quite tricky uh, I gotta watch where I'm going even though I'm on the bike they are extremely fast extremely fast so you can see Abdi has swapped over Mofar has taken the rest at the back that little bit of brake helps and Wanjiru is just in the wind all the time never learns same thing happened last year Mo Farah's PB uh, from 2015, 59 22 last year, Vitality Big Half, he done 61 40. Keep Sang's PB from 2009 at the Ras Al Kamai uh, United Arab Emirates Half Marathon is 58 59. Wanjiru's PB. Prague half 59 20 2016 Abdi Bashir has got a great north run PB of 
Here you can see Mo Farah just decides to come to the side of Abdi. Abdi is going to drop back. They are about one mile from the finish. I'm not too sure what Mo Farah is saying over to Abdi there. Uh, great teamwork from the two guys. Great, great teamwork. Um, you will shortly hear me cheer on Abdi. Uh, that's because everybody was cheering for Mo. Now, come on, let's be fair, guys. How do you think the other runners feel when everybody's just cheering for Mo? So I, th I thought I'd share the love. Cheer for Abdi. At this point I couldn't go any further, uh, not safe. And the rest is history, I'll try and bring you guys a head-on race review. This was fourth place runner Dewey Griffiths who finished in 1 hour 3 minutes 17 seconds and then here we got Chris Thompson finishing in 1 hour 3 minutes 41 seconds. He's, he's been running for a long time Chris. And followed by Cape Sang. Not too sure what happened to Cape Sang along the race but uh, if he's going to get ready for London Marathon, he's going to have to do a lot better than 1 hour 4 minutes 7 seconds. And he was shifting, let me tell you. Tall man, big strides, and the wind, at this point, the wind was on their backs, blowing them forward. Yeah, after keep saying came Jonathan Miller in 1 hour 4 minutes 31 seconds. And then this, I'm sure this is uh, more for us teammate Mustafa Mohammed finishing in 1 hour 4 minutes 42. Looking at the rest of the runners, why I like look, taking these side on views and uh, looking at the different running styles. The lean, the way the foot strikes the ground, are they running from the hips? Um difference to the western runners okay the elite athletes all have pretty low body fat but the problem with the elite athletes i find is that too much muscle too much muscle we are big we are dove we are heavy and that costs fuel that costs energy i think the only elite athlete that has gotten away with it is bikili and i'm yet to figure out why Maybe it's the altitude training, maybe it's his upbringing, but he has gotten away with it. Um, and yeah, we can argue about it, but you know, he's got the third fastest marathon time. And he still holds the fastest or the world record in 5,000 and 10,000 meters with those big thighs of his. So Western athletes, I think what's killing them is this protein, 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 and focusing on doing weights in the gym or it's just we just carry too much muscle on our skeleton structure compared to the East African runners um, and then further down the field the body fat percentage starts to go up and the various disadvantages creep in training at sea level uh, having a full-time job or being a weekend warrior or you know uh, maybe genetics, talent, desire. But anyway, stick around, enjoy the rest of the video. Uh, once again, thanks to the Nostalgia team, the Steel Band Pro, for providing the music. Stick around. Hopefully you might see yourself running here. Give this video a thumbs up. And uh, enjoy.
uh, I will be bringing you an update on chasing Kipchoge Saeed out there in Ethiopia absolutely loving himself and learning what I've been wanting him to learn all this time thanks for watching see you in my next video
What's the website? What's the website? A nostalgia Steel Band. Nostalgia Steel Band? Yeah. Oh, look, 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 it's on the, it's on the, it's on the truck. truck. Alright, Mia, pick it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice one, bless. www.nostalgiasteelband.com. Yeah. Good tunes, good tunes. Thank you.